Let's talk about monologue structure now. So this method I'm about to share with you is a method that a lot of podcasters and YouTube content creators employ to help deliver their message and ensure that everything is on task and that they're delivering on the value proposition that they've been offering their audience. So let's talk about what that strategy is and hopefully this will help you give more structure to your monologues when you're using them in your podcast. Presentation preparation tips. Let's take a look at this. So there are three key steps to a monologue structure. And even this structure can be followed with a podcast of any format. So what you normally have, and this is just basic storytelling 101, is the intro. That's you tell the who and the why, and you set up the scenario of what it's about, and you deliver a value proposition to your audience. Then you have the body, which is the main content that you want to share, which is what the show actually is. It's the majority of what the show will be. And you produce the built body of your work. And then, of course, you have the conclusion, which is a summary of what was shared. But it's also a place to put your call to action as well. So you can see there with the intro, the body, the conclusion, that's just basic storytelling 101. So when you're in a podcasting and audio space, you're actually talking to people and you're delivering stories and stories are sticky and memorable and that's the basic structure that most books podcasts youtube channels whatever piece of content you read even articles they all tend to follow that basic structure so when we come to talk about monologues specifically we use what's called a three t's approach so this is going to sound familiar if you watch YouTube and you watch a lot of educational monologues on YouTube. This approach is probably going to become really familiar. So the approach is this. You tell people what you're going to tell them. Then you tell them what you said you would tell them. And then you tell them what you just told them, which is the outcome. So, for example, you might hear me say on a podcast, in this episode, we're going to be talking about podcasting and how you can start a podcast. And then during the podcast, you're going to say, here's how you start a podcast. And then you tell them three or four things. And then at the end, you say, at the start of this show, I told you that we would tell you how to start a podcast. So what we've shared is, and list those things that were shared, and those things become the points and the outcome for the listener. And you delivered on your value proposition and the promise that you made at the start of the show. So this structure works really well in delivering authority, credibility and trust to your audience because people know what to expect. You then deliver on what they expected and then you tell them that you delivered on what they expected. So we refer to that as a three T's monologue structure. Here we can show four ways to deliver a monologue structure. So first thing we mentioned last lesson is scripting. So you can actually write a script and read from a script. And if you choose to do that, that's fine. And it's good starting out to get particularly familiar with writing scripts and content. And then you can use some of the other strategies a little bit later if you're not confident in speaking without a script. Now, you can see the next one's from memory, rehearsed from a script. Now, some people actually write the script and then they just study and repeat the script over and over and over to the point that they can almost read that or say that script unprompted. And that's a great method to deliver a podcast is to actually memorize it. The downside of that method is obviously time that it could take you some time to rehearse the script. Then you've got impromptu, which is no notes used. And impromptu is something that I like to do myself, but it's very hard if you want to stay on track to keep on track if you're impromptu, particularly if you forget what you're going to say. Now, the next one is what I've used to help create this course and what I use when I'm actually producing episodes, say for, again, my basketball program, which is called The Coach Approach, uh, is actually one of the monologue series that I do on my YouTube channel. And I use what they call extemporaneous. It's a nice big word, uh, extemporaneous. And what that is, is that's where you use notes to trigger your memory. So throughout this course, it's a great example of extemporaneous 
because what I've been doing is I've been looking at these particular slides that I've created for you, as well as the course notes that you see in the course, and I'm basically delivering it extemporaneously. So they're the four main methods that you may choose to deliver a monologue. Now, there's one I haven't put in here, which is something I'm seeing on YouTube a lot more, which is actually AI. AI can deliver a script. If you have the appropriate podcast, you say it's a technological one, then you can use AI to potentially deliver some of the content, which is a unique way of delivering it that some people might not have con Considered. So it's one that I've used or we used on Tech Matters that for each segment, we actually had computer generated vocals introducing each segment. And it was a unique way, but we were a tech show, so it worked quite well. I thought it was important to cover this monologue topic as part of this podcasting course, because a lot of people choose both interviews and monologues as the main types of podcasts that they actually create. The fact is, is most people at some point in their podcast will be doing a monologue, even if it's just introducing their guest or they're introducing their show. But that three T's approach is an approach that is really, really good to use to give structure to your show and to deliver on your value proposition. So I think it's really important to use that structure if you're starting out to help you understand and arrange the thoughts and the ideas that you have around your topic.